this might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Cheers, Grace Helby. Cheers, Mamie Hart. Oh my goodness, it's another one of our classic evening recordings. Wow, if you guys aren't watching the episode of This Might Get This Week, you are truly missing out on the aesthetic that we have um, adopted. <laughs> yeah, it basically looks like TMGW prom behind us because yeah. it is the backdrop left up from um, my party this weekend. Birthday oh, ev- party. Everyone's been knowing, waiting, excited for all of the shenanigans that I went love down. It. I love when people are like, oh, I can't wait to hear about this. It's like, I just got drunk and had fun. Oh, like, it's, there's uh, not that many shenanigans to well, gain. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will say one of my first shenanigans to gain is that on the way to the party, I truly did not believe that chip was sans pants the whole yeah. time Oh, okay guys just for a refresher or yeah, in case you skipped some, an episode yeah let's give some backstory this past saturday was my second annual fall brawl mm-hmm. um it was for my birthday and it is uh, a party in which you have to come dressed as a wrestler which can be either a real wrestler or one you make up so Chip was going as this indie wrestler from AEW, Joey Ryan, mm-hmm. who we love. Our friends have a documentary about um, who comes out to like the Pina Colada song. He's always <laughs> greased up. He keeps a lollipop in his briefs and he wears a white members only jacket, a mustache, <laughs> aviators and like floral floral briefs like very magnum pi which is like truly your like uh ideal school, aesthetic yeah what's the old school like dream uh dream date yes like, game totally for <laughs> yeah. sure for sure if that door opened it would be magnum pi but and, chip yeah. was wearing the knee high wrestling Ugh. boots and floral briefs and i had to fake tan his legs you did i used the sally hansen spray <laughs> Which that shit is so good. I used it on my legs and Chip goes, is that what you're about to put on me? And I said, yes. And he goes, I thought you were wearing tights. Yeah. That's like how, that shit is real. That's how good that shit is. It's scary. Cause yeah, it doesn't non-spawn, like come by the way. Oh, it, it was amazing. I like I saw your Instagram story on the way over in the Uber and I told Elliot, I was like, I'm not sure if Chip is wearing pants or not. And then got mm-hmm. here. Sure enough, no pants. Uh, shout out to Sally Hansen. <laughs> he killed it. Uh, my friend Steve asked him if he stuffs his butt. <laughs> Which I think is the ultimate compliment from a gay man who watches Drag Race. Oh, it was perfect. It was a really good time. Everyone super came out uh, and brought it. Your yep. and Elliot's costumes, I think, was my favorite of the night. Well, so... You, I have been very paranoid because I did not come to fall brawl number one. Yeah. And I was uh, very sad. And so I felt like, oh, God, we have a lot to live up to Mm, for fall brawl mm -hmm. number two. And you and I have been texting and you kept asking me like what we might be. And I was like, I'm not encroaching on anything you and chip are doing no that wasn't my concern at all it was more just like but also like didn't wanna, i want to make sure you wanted I want, to come i wasn't <laughs> uh, yeah well duh but also that i wasn't doing anything else that you might hear from other people right. that might be coming uh but then and i was like i'm a little nervous i haven't kept up with wwe recently i don't know and you were like assuring me it's fine you can be whatever you want like sarah ben came as jake the snake snake last she year. was going to she got the flu but yeah but that's oh no it. she was going to this year but that was the inspiration for me to realize i can think outside the box you can be an inanimate I, object i can be inanimate objects <laughs> so you guys her and elliot were a staircase match ladder uh, match ladder match yeah. uh staircase <laughs> that would, that'd be very hard to move around from town to town full yeah. staircases wheeled out <laughs> <laughs> Can you just, I mean, that sounds creepy. Just beans a staircase to get on the bed. That's how uh, we felt. They were ladder matches, which if you yeah. haven't watched wrestling, they literally, you grab ladders and it's the first person to get their get ladder the up, run up the top and then grab the money in the bank, which is a suitcase full of money. It's basically like a weird version of like mistletoe. That it's like this yes. thing that hangs above a ladder that everyone has to fight to get up to. And that's like what they win. Totally. Uh, and But also it felt kind of okay because Elliot doesn't know anything about wrestling so it was like oh you know what a ladder is so <laughs> at least you know what you're going as oh I wish you would have dressed him as something uh, and told him it was a thing and well, then he got here and it made no sense oh god I wish I know that was the best part about this party is that everyone can come exactly as they want to and mm-hmm. you go 
what what are you? You'd like, be like everyone the is 1979 insecure. WrestleMania. Yeah, everyone's like you, Mr. Peacock. Of yeah, course, of course, <laughs> of course. No, Grace took black outfits, spray painted, you know, what looked to be a ladder, and then made little headbands with money, tiny little briefcases full of money on top. Yeah, it was real good. She even had like people crawling up the ladders which looked like like creepy cloth dolls that uh were that like a moravian kid up. would have yeah <laughs> it looked like they were feeling me up and or i was breastfeeding at the same time yeah uh but yeah hands free breastfeeding at a party oh god can you well, i mean 2019 goals. goals uh yeah i have a bunch of footage that i might make into a video uh because i Ooh. shot your reaction to us walking in yes. because you were so curious about what we were being and so i but this is how well i know you i know you knew that is that (laughs) you guys instagram storied one tiny little moment where you were spray painting lines on something yeah which looked like it you know what it looked like initially because it was a black outfit with it looked like silver or white stripes Mm -hmm. it looked like a jailbird yeah so i was like oh is she is there like a jailbird tag team what and then i looked because i know the way your brain works Mm -hmm. and i looked at chip and i was like i think they're gonna be a ladder match (laughs) and he was like how do you even get that from that i was like i just feel like uh, there's lines she's gonna be a ladder match she's not gonna be something standard i have to i have not looked at the footage yet but i walked in i don't know if you remember with my camera rolling like on my Uh -uh. chest and you screaming i knew it i knew it i told chip you guys were gonna be a ladder so i'd already had a couple days i no we all had at that point but i haven't looked at that footage yet but i cannot wait to Uh, see that it's gonna be out of focus but just screaming in the back i cannot wait to post that (laughs) oh it was the most fun party of all time it was a great time i had to do the thing where i woke up the next day and essentially cleaned the house before Before the cleaning gal (laughs) <laughs> Which I still didn't take down the massive de- decorations I had of like wall art of uh, no, life size wrestlers. So I'm sure she was very fucking confused. It's Tuesday night now and they're still in the house. Loud I don't and know proud. when I'm going to take the decorations down, to be quite honest. I don't know how they haven't been like a fully like this is your West Elm. Yeah, this totally. Is your window in West Elm if you were ever given one. Oh, OK. Can we talk about this? probably the what day is it? the day after my actual well my actual birthday the day after the party we yeah. went and saw hustlers yes okay okay what do you have a lot to say N- i mean i'm just i wanted to talk about hustlers because it's a great movie but i know we don't like talk about movies that much right in case people haven't seen it but we can like do the broad strokes the broad strokes hey, <laughs> yeah you'd like to stroke some... that broad because hannah dropped a burger hey. when j-lo can <laughs> when j-lo Hit the stage. We went to one of those theaters where you can eat and drink and they have waiters. Hannah said she <laughs> dropped her burger when J-Lo uh, hit the screen. She did the opposite of like, uh, who is it? Paris Hilton's like... Uh, Carl's Bur- Jr. Carl's ad. Carl's Jr. ad. Yeah, where she just like... Uh, oh, God. It was a very good, fun movie. I, thought, I kept saying to Chip, I kept going, it's a romp. And he was like... <laughs> It wasn't a romp. Um, He thought I was saying rom-com, I think. But I was like, it's a romp. But I've been to two movies there. Mm Mm-hmm. The first one was Hobbs and Shaw or Wait, whatever at that, at that Alamo. Alamo Draft House, yeah. The first one was Hobbs and Shaw because it was that rock spinoff from Fast and Furious. And mm-hmm. I said to Chip, like, I'll go see this with you, but I need to be able to drink during it. Yeah. So this was my, like, you know, it's a payback's a bitch. You yeah. get to go see titties and drink. God bless. French 75s. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we had. Uh, it was great. And it, it was honestly like you had already pre-planned this before your party even happened. Mm-hmm. You had texted being like, Chip and I are already planning to go and see a movie on Sunday. And we had to get out of the house while it was cleaned. I mean, that's how you know you're an official adult is when you're pre-planning the get out of the house activity while you've already planned people to clean your house because of your birthday party. Absolutely. It's the way to do it. I will say that after our summer of touring and then uh, traveling and birthday and all that kind of stuff. It was exactly what I needed to go see and be like, I got to start working out. <laughs> oh, my. It was. J-Lo, un- trust me, I was. She's my a deal whole with the devil. Body was clenched in yeah. that like 
God, maybe like because like, Chip, uh, don't look at me. Don't yeah. even look at me anymore. <laughs> I'm going to a class. A yes. class. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to go to a class. A hundred percent. I was like, she's fucking fifty. Oh, but you saw that she ended the Versace show this year mm-hmm. with the dress that she wore twenty years ago. I can't wear a jumper I wore two months ago. I mean, and she's rocking a versace dress from 20 years ago same body better uh, body if you ask me body like and then going to hustlers on the heels of that is like well great if we uh <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck you so hard jlo if we didn't want to feel that terrible about our bodies in ladder costumes and wait have you talked about what your costume is or was? was it was Sasha Banks? Yeah, yeah, I think I said it on the podcast before. Okay, yeah, that I was. But Sasha now you Banks. guys have seen all of the yeah documentation of if it. If you haven't, then you don't follow me on Instagram. So follow me at Mametown, obviously, so yeah. you can know what we're talking about. Uh, because the Joey Ryan Sasha Banks photos are we pretty were a great. power couple. Yeah, we were absolutely <laughs> a fucking power couple. My favorites are the uh, the videos of Chip carrying the three uh giant pizzas over his head i got 36 inch (laughs) diameter pizzas and it happens that's a strong man okay we'll move on from the party because you guys weren't there and i don't want you to have complete fomo today we have support from lola we love lola it's a female founded company offering a line of organic cotton tampons pads liners at all natural cleansing wipes guys this i mean girls this is gonna make your life so much better. The FDA doesn't require brands to disclose a comprehensive list of ingredients in their feminine care products, so most of them don't, but Lola offers complete transparency about the ingredients found in their tampons, pads, liners, and wipes. They make your month easier. They have a subscription service that is fully customizable, so you can choose your mix of products, your mix of absorbency, the number of boxes, and the frequency of delivery. It's super flexible. You can change, skip, or cancel your subscription at any time and now they're offering cleansing wipes like we said they got pads liners that are both bpa free plastic applicator or environmentally non-applicator tampons and cleansing wipes that are safe for anywhere on the body uh, so do good with your purchase for every purchase they donate feminine care products to homeless shelters across the u.s what more could you love and now you guys can get 40 percent off your first month's subscription by going to mylola.com and entering tmgw when you subscribe i have used lola products for the last year i'm a huge fan i have a flighty brain and so the like consistency of their delivery is better than what I can actually keep up with for myself. Thank God it's one less thing to worry about. And again, you guys can get 40% off your first month subscription by going to mylola.com and entering code TMGW when you subscribe. Today we have more support from Noom, which is very exciting. Getting in shape isn't just about losing weight. You all know that. It's about learning healthier habits and feeling better about yourself, whether you want more stamina to keep up with a busy lifestyle, you want to get into that goal outfit, or you want to be more in tune with your body's general needs, or practice the trendy self-care. They will help you with that. It's a habit-changing solution that helps users learn to develop a new relationship with food through personalized courses it's based in psychology so noom teaches you why you do the things you do and arms you with the tools to break the bad habits and replace them with better ones it's not a diet it's a healthy and easy to stick to way of life they believe that no food is good bad or off limits it teaches moderation and can be used in conjunction with many pre-existing popular diets if you want it's very customizable you're a human if you go out tr- off track there's no shaming you just get tips to get you back on track you can chat with your goal specialists and the noom community to get and give help to people going through the same things you guys have tweeted at us saying that you were currently using this program and it's been working for you and that's the most exciting thing for us to be able to promote it to anyone out there that's looking for a specialist a community just something um you know that works in conjunction with what you're probably already doing you You don't have to change it all in one day. Small steps make big progress. So sign up for your trial today at Noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. What do you have to lose? Visit Noom dot com slash weird to start your trial today. Noom dot com slash weird. 
I did want to say this yes. um, is that I'm going to Australia next week. <gasps> so this episode, we're actually just recording yeah. a little longer and we're going to throw in a moment from our live tour that you guys haven't heard before. Very fun. Um, and then we're basically going to split this up into two because I will be on the other side of the world by uh, the time next week's episode should come out. And Grace and I aren't trying to do our first remote podcast on that type of time difference no because uh-uh. you know we got we can barely get together on the same like uh side of town literally <laughs> five minutes away from each other and like make this Even equipment still. work like there's no way that that's gonna happen Even but- so we're both jet lag just existing yeah, yeah. <laughs> just from living um but i will say yes please do you know this memory oh my god i'm stoked that i got an email from last week's episode okay that just that the, the title from who uh i didn't know the title is grace spoke oprah listened i'm sorry so we're getting wait what wait what is happening so i'm reaching out on behalf of oprah's oh that's good Sh- line shut of frozen the fuck up! <laughs> so shut up frozen prepared foods in response to grace <laughs> talking about it on the podcast and they literally sent the clip in which i personally asked for Oprah food. to send us food. So uh, this Thursday, I am getting sent a bunch of, oh, that's good, Stop frozen it. food via the Oprah company. And then they also wanted to know all of our logistics about this. Actually. Okay. I was like, well, first of all, that's amazing. Second of all, why am I not getting any food? Third of all, is it cauliflower products? Uh, I'm going to find out. Unfortunately, I'm leaving town. If you town. become her Gail. No, you're I mentioned in all of this. It, it just came to me. <laughs> like, first of all, that's why I was waiting to see if you uh, had also been like. No. Oh, yeah. No, it's. I have an Oprah spam filter up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're only open to Gail. I said, oh, that's spam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's spam volume yeah. two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, um, that's for- incredible. It's so bonkers. But yeah, on Thursday, I will be receiving some products from. Oh, that's good. I will be out of town until Tuesday. So I am going to make sure that they get refrigerated so that we can maybe test them and eat them yes. publicly. On we, the should podcast. On we should do that on yeah, Patreon. We should do that. on Yeah. yeah, yeah. But- if you want to see us mukbang. Oh, that's good. Uh, you give this a uh, podcast. But uh, also, I cannot believe that they reached insane. out to who our do ma- th- okay do you think there is like someone who works at a very low tier at yeah. oprah who was like who listens to our podcast well, and they, thought i need to bring this up the ranks they attached the exact clip they attached everything like they made sure that this wasn't like a hoax and i cannot believe that this has happened wow. so now i want like what else can we get <laughs> We need to put together our brains with this specifically. I'm like, does Oprah have like a technology that no one else has yet? Because she's so rich that it's like every time her name is mentioned, there's like, you know, someone at like a minority like, report spi- board being like, like her spidey oh, sense. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's going off. Also, I watched. Or I meant, oh, I meant an employee doing it, but oh. maybe spidey sense. No, yeah, because I watched Into the Spidey Verse after Hustlers, so like my Everything's whole brain, fresh to yeah, you right now. My brain is going nuts about everything. Um, but I can't wait for this frozen cauliflower. Uh, Holy yeah. shit! So guys, think it, believe it, do it. This is just a testament that when you yeah. put it out there, it comes truly. <laughs> I mean, if you can talk about <laughs> Oprah's cauliflower love I in truly cannot my wait. laundry room and then Oprah's people are reaching out to you, you can do fucking anything, guys. Also register to vote. Can, y- yes. <laughs> uh, that's the actual thing that we yeah, want you to that's do. That's what we want to do. Wow. That's incredible. <sighs> Can you imagine if we went to the Oprah Farms? I'm just now. I'm just okay. Adding on. Anyway, okay. What, what's she going lives on? in Montecito. <laughs> I know she's close. She's really close. She's. Close. She also has an incredible farm in Hawaii because oh. she brought a bunch of her Weight Watchers people out there. Maybe okay. I should do Weight Watchers, I mean, and then I can get close with the Oaks. Should, how do we? How do we, I need now, to lose? I 
let's we're, talk WWE. Okay. Now we're, it's not wait, now it's not WWE. It's, it's just WWE Weight Watchers o. Entertainment. It's WWE. Oh, Weight Watchers, Watchers Oprah. Oprah. <laughs> we gotta get it. All right, guys. Okay. We don't jump ship. We just like to exist between ships. <laughs> so. Yeah, we're just waiting in between two ships like a scuba. Uh, um. All right. I have a couple things. Please, you've been doing. Do people know the exact like what my this, trajectory of the last seventy two hours? I can't believe you're standing upright right now. Uh, uh, okay. So had my party on Saturday of course like spent all day Friday prepping for it you know because you have to clean your house to trash it and we we don't skimp on decorations and booze uh, and all that jazz you're a you a DIYer to your core I love it yeah um so we throw the party on Saturday wake up clean have the cleaner lady come we uh go see hustlers come back you know have a nice Sunday then I wake up and leave my house at 5 30 a.m on Monday Fly to Austin, Texas, <laughs> take an Uber an hour outside of Austin uh, to New Brunfels, which is where we tubed. That's where I went is where we went tubing. Oh, yeah, my It's a God. German town an hour outside of Austin. OK, because our friend Linnea. So we we talked about like that's where she's from. But yeah. we talked about country music, whatever. And Garth Brooks, before he does another stadium tour, was doing this small handful of shows at quote unquote dive bars like bars that only held you know like three or I don't know how many people um and so anyway we she calls me one day and she's like I randomly made friends with Garth Brooks's social media person um he thinks he could get me two tickets to the one in Texas would you want to go and I'm like of course I do I saw Garth Brooks three years ago and like a Which this is huge what I, capacity, and I was obsessed with it. I only recently learned your obsession with Garth Brooks. It's not an obsession. Or I just, just think love. he's an incredible. Yeah, I mean, I love him on levels that I love many other performers. He's not like on any like top list for me. Sure, he's just like he's undisputedly one of the best live performers specifically. See, I don't know anything about that, so I oh. would assume you being a comedian, like you would. Like th- this would be like a funny person for you. So I don't know anything about him being like no. a sincerely great musician. He's just like, well, I mean, he sold like, I don't know, 40. He was the top selling artist for like years. But he at his shows, he's just renowned t- to like he's super humble and grateful on stage. And he's one of those performers that when everyone's going nuts, he's standing, looking out, shaking his head and being like, I can't believe I get to do this. That's Thank cool. you so much for giving me my life. Like he's really like appreciative and he makes you feel like you're uh, uh, I felt like I was in an audience of 50 people when I saw him with 10,000 so I was like we're gonna go to the oldest dance hall in Texas where the Dixie Chicks started where like Willie Nelson did a million shows Johnny Cat like all these incredible people um and it's just gonna be us and like a few hundred people at the show you couldn't buy tickets they were only for this whole tour they were only radio station giveaways but Insane. since she found this hookup, we went and it was amazing. It was fucking 130 degrees in that dance hall. No sure. air conditioning in Texas in September. Like we full on, we were like, ooh, Bikram Garth. Um, <laughs> I told the social media guy that they need to make Make America Garth Again hats. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, I'll pass that along. Uh, would you like to be part of the social team <laughs> it was really amazing it was cool it was so cool and we stayed with Linnea's dad who's basically the dude from Big Lebowski uh. <laughs> um, and he was like I'll take you girls to the show or I'll like first will you guys come to my favorite bar and yeah. come get a drink with me and I, and I hadn't eaten all day it was like 4 p.m. and I was like I'll absolutely go get a beer with you and we go to this awesome like middle of nowhere dive bar called the Devil's Backbone perfect and we, and I'm like, you know, four o'clock on a Monday, we walk in. It's like jukeboxes going. Uh, it's a picture rest there. Like the old lady bartenders are putting up Halloween decorations. Uh, There's regulars at all the at all the bar stools. It's like you couldn't have dreamed up a better Texas scenario. Yeah. There's a cat sleeping on the bar named Psycho Kitty. <laughs> Who apparently just falls asleep if you leave money. He sleeps on top of the money. But we walk in and the first thing that happens is this man who's at least 80 years old turns to me and goes, what's that water softener called? And I go, what? And he goes, that water softener. And I go, 
I don't and he goes oh never mind and I turn and he's turned and he's doing a crossword puzzle I was like okay I know what okay that's what's oh, happening what's a water softener there was like he needed the name for a water softener I don't know it's a product to make your water softer for washing clothes I don't know <laughs> I was just like, this is what I was greeted with. And then we're talking and and uh, her dad says to someone like, oh, yeah, they just flew in from L.A. for the show. And the old man again turns in his stool and goes, I'm from L.A. And I go, really? He goes, yeah, lower Alabama. <laughs> I was like, I'm obsessed with this place. I'm never fucking leaving. So the... Amazing. We got like the bar experience with the old men and then we Ugh. went to Garth Brooks and it was just like, it was perfect. He only played for like an hour and 15 minutes because I guess he's recording. It's probably like a, yeah. a doc about it, a music doc, but it was great. That's cool. I was in bed by midnight. It was like, I was, a res- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really proud of <laughs> how responsible I did this. <laughs> I wish that was your, if there's a Yelp review of his like bar tour. I was, I was in, in bed, bed by, by midnight. midnight. <laughs> I it's the greatest it. thing that ever happened to me. I was drinking red wine with ice in it. It was the best time. <laughs> the most responsible I've ever been. This episode is supported by Away. Uh, thoughtful luggage for modern travel. I love this luggage company so much. I own two of their suitcases and I can't say enough great things about them. Away knows that everyone has a different travel style. That's why they make their carry-on in an array of colors, super cute colors, two sizes, and two materials, a strong yet flexible polycarbonate and an anodized aluminum. That's what it says, and I believe that that's very, very uh, enticing. They have the carry-on, which is a lightweight and durable shell that's made to last for a lifetime of travel. A 100-day trial lets you try any Away product on the road. Do you hear that? You can try these products on the road. Test them out in real life for 100 days. They have a limited lifetime warranty, which means they'll fix or replace your bag even if it gets damaged. They have a built-in compression pad that helps you pack more. They have four 360-degree spinner wheels guaranteed for a a smooth ride. They have TSA-approved combination locks to keep your belongings safe inside, an optional ejectable battery to keep your phone charged, and a removable laundry bag to separate dirty clothes from clean clothes again let me hit on the 100 day trial on everything away makes you can take it on the road travel with it get lost with it if you decide it's not for you you can return it uh any non-personalized item for a full refund no ifs ands or asterisks plus you get free shipping on any away order within the contiguous u.s europe and australia contiguous right that's neither here nor there Uh, and if you want to see it for yourself you can also shop at away stores in new york austin la san francisco boston chicago and london i like i said love these suitcases so much i'm a struggle monster when i travel and these are so chic that they give the illusion to everyone around me that i am not late for my flight which is normally how it goes and now you guys can get $20 off a suitcase by visiting awaytravel.com slash tmgw and use the promo code tmgw during checkout again $20 off a suitcase by going to awaytravel.com slash tmgw use promo code tmgw on my way to uh on my way to the show I was at the, you know, like a Hudson News or something at the Austin airport. Sure. And I was grabbing a coffee before I headed um, to meet her at the show. And there was a heated debate between the two girls that worked at Hudson News. Oh, no. So I'm listening. And one of the girls is just reading off her phone every country in Asia. I'm like, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what you do. Starts reading it. And then and she gets through it. And she she goes to the girl. She the other girl goes. I'm telling you, one of those countries is named Cherokee. <laughs> Wait, what? She thought there was a country in Asia named Cherokee. And I'm like, oh, wow, I'm going to stick around and peruse these magazines a little more. Wait, so the girl was, I thought she was looking at her phone, listing off. She was tr- she was proving to the girl that, like, that's not a country in Asia. Oh. And she was like, uh-uh, Cherokee is definitely a country in Asia. She goes, no, it's not. And then she keeps scrolling. She goes, it's on the border, but also Georgia. She goes, 
Georgia. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. she'd never heard Georgia was a country. And she swore that Cherokee was a country in Asia. And then the girl goes, well, I'm sorry, you're inaccurate. And then she literally said, what's inaccurate? And I was like, how is this person surviving as a human? Anyway, uh, that was overheard at the airport. Wow. I mean, my I guess I one that I forgot to talk about overheard at the airport from last week uh, was just that I was I had already bought like a bunch of lo mein at the airport. (laughs) I love that you said it like it was a comp already bunch of bunch uh, bought a bunch. I was like smart water gum lo mein no lo mein (laughs) lo mein uh and there was an old couple behind me and it's like uh in new york it was like the it was a ipad ordering system oh i know it was at the JetBlue terminal yeah i know that lo mein yeah and it was great it was great because 10 a.m lo mein never gets judged when you just plug it into a computer yeah but then they were behind me like trying to figure out how to like there was no one else but me and them. And oh, no. Yeah. And so they were just like looking at the receipt, trying to figure out exactly like what they went through. But then uh, <laughs> and then I got mine first and I was like, I can't. I don't want to. You don't want to te- you don't want <laughs> yeah. to teach an older couple uh, iPads also, right now. They also both look like they were like professors at some like very prestigious like college. And like oh. this was their one thing that they couldn't figure they out. They could so, right now tell you like every nerve ending in a human right. body. But and then d- they'd be like, iPad. also, you smell a little bit like whiskey from the night before. And I'd be like, touche. Well, here's how you get your low main as well in the morning. But then uh, I went to uh the like hudson news and got um a magazine and they were all talking about getting the new iphone and i felt Wait, we, so out of it hold on we both had hudson news mm-hmm. overheard this yeah <laughs> no they were oh talking God. about uh getting the new iphone and they were going back and forth and i was like uh trying to like it was just so one of those things where I didn't even know that the new iPhone was out already and they were oh. already talking about it and I just had hot low main in my like <laughs> carriage being like and I would like this water please and I would also like to hear like what you guys think about the new well, iPhone. Well a lot of people have a people what is it tryptophania what is the thing where people tryptophan no where pe- not, not tryptophan that makes you oh, sleepy it went in turkey no. the thing where people are scared of holes yeah. and they hate the camera Elliot has it okay I a- have it but not to the I mean I'm not diagnosed but like when I see those pictures yeah. that'll pop up and you're, the fucking clickbaits I am grossed out by that kind of stuff yeah but not to the point of like three dots would gross me out you know what I mean no it's the cavernous holes I guess <laughs> yeah see there you go and that's the proof that's the my nickname came back to haunt me. Oh, no. Men cannot date me who have that trip to whatever because I'm just full of cavernous holes. Oh, my goodness. Um, I did want to, What did I want to tell you? Oh, oh, oh. I rewatched for the first time in a long time mm-hmm. the wedding planner last week. <gasps> because of J- J-Lo? No. And when okay. I got to Hustlers, I thought. I've watched two J-Lo films this week. This is strange. And I've never watched any movie, uh, but I know the wedding planner. I know her, she gets her heel caught, caught in, in like the grate. A, mm-hmm. And then and he saves her. And then it turns out she's his fucking wedding planner. And she learns that maybe she should be married too, even though she's been planning them her whole life. There's a lot yeah. to dissect. But the one thing that really pissed me off in this movie okay. is... The so, lavender, the use of lavender. No, everywhere. I think she looks great in lavender. Of course, I love lavender was so big that year. I remember I just really wanted to paint my bedroom lavender in 1999. Um, she, when he saves her from, if if this is a spoiler alert to you guys, <laughs> I have to deal with it. When he saves her from getting run over by a runaway dumpster. Oh, it's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, Matthew McConaughey. I she essentially she's like, do you want to come watch this old movie in a park with me? Because she's going to take a chance and ask him out. Here's my problem. <laughs> they get to the park. He starts eating M and M's. Okay. He, in his hand, starts throwing the ones that aren't brown over his shoulder, like he's not going to eat them. Like that tossing aren't them brown over his shoulder. Yes, like any colored M and M, he throws them over his shoulder and she goes what are you doing and he goes someone told me once that like the brown ones are healthier because they're already brown like chocolate that's not the exact quote but that's essentially what he says Uh uh-huh first of all that's the dumbest shit i've ever heard it's not charming i would be like 
You're littering. You are littering and wasting food simultaneously, Matthew McConaughey. I'm fucking pissed. But in the very next scene, or in the previous scene, I forget which one. You, I don't know anyone that can hold. I mean, the people that can hold you accountable to which scene is which. Okay, true. <laughs> He's a goddamn doctor. He is a pediatrician. Yeah. And he is legitimately throwing away perfectly good peanut M&Ms because someone thought the brown ones would be healthier because they're the actual color of chocolate. It made me so mad. I was taken out of the plot. (laughs) (laughs) Which was. Yeah. Which was already. And then at the end, she does it, too. And she's like, I heard that the brown ones. I was like, fuck you. Here's my thoughts. (laughs) Okay. Why does Eminem, the candy, have such a great PR team in which we know that there are these like kinds of insanity around them? The same thing, like, you know, that uh, who is it that's like the green Eminems have to get taken out of the rider when they're backstage? No, no, no. This is I've explained this to you before, but we'll go back to it. The rider thing is that Van Halen said no brown Eminems in their rider only to see to make sure right. that people were reading their entire rider. Okay. They put it deep in their rider to see mm. if they were actually, you know, like they weren't they weren't so shitty. They were like, "Take out my brown M&Ms." They were like, "We just want to make sure they're actually reading our rider." But then so now, okay. Yeah. yeah. Then I mean, then uh do you think M&Ms has like some sort of brand deal with the wedding planner? Well, I would hate a brand deal where they say throw away 80% of the bag. <laughs> if you're gonna buy the bag <laughs> yeah he didn't say like hey why are you throwing away those non-name brand shelled chocolates with peanuts in the middle wow. anyway i just watched it first of all it's wonderful too because it's so perfectly it's time where they say like fax me this and like it's on my blackberry and lots of things like that yeah but the m M&M scene really God, it was just so wasteful. It was so wasteful. I was like, if I was in that park, I would know to lay under that branch and just be like catching <laughs> M&Ms in my mouth all night. <laughs> was, uh, oh, yeah. The OK, so the wedding planner, the actual movie like visual is just them in front of like a um, a cloud computer background. background. <laughs> you know what it looks like? It looks like, you know, the big story of Casey Musgraves going to Koreatown <gasps> for that like photo. Yeah, uh, yeah it looks like they're at an old school Sears, you know, cloud. hundred percent. And also like the recommendations are monster in law. Oh my God. Another JLo classic. Yeah, with Jane fucking Fonda, yeah, the legend. And that's what I'm looking at the cover of, which I didn't realize is her just touching their heads. And Look, moving Grace, them apart. we'll have to have a JLo marathon, <laughs> oh. but I just want to tell you that one thing because it really, I need to know if other people were upset by this, that a doctor <laughs> Would think that it reminded me of the doctor on 30 Rock who has like no idea what they're doing. I'm like, I would not trust this guy do like diagnosing my child. No, that's like the whole uh, TV show, The Doctors. Oh, I don't, I, I, don't I don't watch it. I don't watch it either. No opinion. Don't watch it. Um, I had another <laughs> another overheard this week. Oh, yes. Go on. I was walking beans mm-hmm. and I heard this woman like bitching to whoever she was walking with and it sounded like a woman in her like late 60s and the woman says i almost smacked him in his fucking noodle he was so offbeat seriously i almost smacked him over the head with my uke they turn the corner they're both carrying ukuleles and leaving where i have seen the ukulele group on next door app meets so Remember how I used to say there's a ukulele group on my next door app? And I'm like, yes. I like ukulele. Maybe I'll join. Not anymore. <laughs> wait, <laughs> they get violent. Wait, wait, they get wait, violent. What is the quote? One more time. Said, I almost smacked him in his fucking noodle. He was so offbeat. Seriously, I almost smacked him over the head with my uke. 60 something year old woman come out of a ukulele group off next door app. Wow. I love that it was. She's not afraid to say the word fucking, but no, noodle. noodle. Noodle is Don't where. Say it. <laughs> yeah. Grace is like, what'd you say about noodles? She comes out of the, the next uh, bush. <laughs> We're talking little man. We're talking spaghetti. Either What's way, up? I'm in. Uh, I have many thoughts and that's offensive. Yeah. So my dreams of going to ukulele group in the neighborhood are squashed. Wow. Yeah. Don't say squash in front of her. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, she could also be in a squash group. Yeah. She's going to She's going to squash your noodle. Her mind. Uh, I think. I say follow up with her. <laughs> like see yeah. where she's at. Well, also, if I could get back in my 
next door app I would okay this isn't a commercial even though it sounds like I'm about to do a commercial it is actually me telling you that this is the end of this week's podcast we didn't have a direct out because we recorded one big long one while I head to Australia next week but definitely come back next week where we have all kinds of different stories and even throw it to part of our live tour the very last little portion we're gonna give to you guys and um yeah we'll see you next week this is weird in and of itself